right, welcome back. I am Rich. You're watching Six String Fun. Uh, this is a song I've been thinking about for, for, for a little while now to uh, to get done. And I just saw it performed just the other night. Um, so uh, seeing that really gave me the inspiration to kind of just do it and, and share with everyone. Uh, so this is the Jeffrey Gaines cover of Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes. Um, just a phenomenal acoustic version. Saw it live. Blew me away the first time I saw it in either 92 or 93. And here we are 28 years later. He's, he's still touring, still playing. And I'm telling you, you closed your eyes. It sounded like the, the, his recorded version. Uh, I guess it was a B-side to, to a CD maybe. Uh, and even when I heard it live, you know, all those years ago, it was just amazing. His voice is still there. Um, great singer-songwriter, Jeffrey Gaines. So you got to check him out. If, if you're not familiar with him, uh, you know, do so. So um, it, just, just a phenomenal performer. So I'm, I'm, I felt really fortunate I got to see him, you know, the other night. And, and seeing him, I wanted to make sure I, I, I did this tutorial. Pretty straightforward, though. Um, you know, you're looking at, you know, your, your B minor, D, A, G, um, E chords. A, I think I said A is in there. So it's, it's all in there. Um, but really, uh, just, just a great campfire song. Great song for people to sing along to. I play this in, in one of my bands, Failure to Launch. It goes over really well. So definitely check it out. Um like subscribe so that way you know when new things are coming down the road here i plan on maybe doing a few other jeffrey Gaines tunes because i just forgot how good they were and on acoustic guitar it, it's just really powerful so um i got a link below to some of his things as well so check them out if you haven't if you you know maybe you remember the name going back a little bit you know revisit because i mean he's still out there he's still playing he's still putting on some great performances i, I think this particular show i saw him at he played for, uh, you know, an hour and 45 minutes. I mean, um, it was just fantastic. He would do a song. And the cool thing about what he did was he would, you know, do a little talk and tell some stories in between, but it was seamless. You know, sometimes you go to a show and you want to just hear the music. Him playing and doing the storytelling was just phenomenal. So, again, you got to check him out. And this particular song, you've got to check it out as well. Um, you know, I think if you can play those chords, um, you can pull this one off. So check it out. We're going to take a closer look and we'll go. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the chords we're going to use for In Your Eyes, um, the Jeffrey Gaines version. Uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the, the chords are B minor, A, D, G. There's an A in there and an E. And again, the way I look at songs and I break them down is I'm always looking at patterns. I'm always looking at sequences and, and numbers and counting just because it helps me out with um, with all the structure, basically. So we have the intro. Intro is going to be three chords. B minor. Okay, so it's the B minor. An A. And I think best is, is barring, for, for this, this part of it, Barring the A, I think, works pretty well, okay? And then the D, which is also going to be a combination of the D suspended two and the suspended fourth, right? So, and for the most part, when the D is played in the song, it's going to start off as the suspended two with that open E, okay? And then a hammer, and then another hammer for the suspended fourth. And then you walk it right back down the other way, Okay? Okay, as far as the A chord, the A chord is really just kind of a, almost like a transition chord in a way. The B, and, and you're also using this hand, your, your, your picking hand, um, I don't want to say as, per, as a percussive instrument, but in a way, you've got to deaden the strings every once in a while. Just like that, okay? And I guess when I do it, it does kind of give it a percussive sound. So in a way, you're when you're when you're stopping them, you're hitting the top of the guitar. So it does give it a percussive feel, I guess. Quick A, which is why I think the bar chord works really good there. And the way we've played this in Failure to Launch, I mean, that you can kind of, you know, you can go one or two times around there or if, if uh you know, we're not quite ready yet, or I'm, I'm ready to go, and, and, and Tom isn't quite ready with something, I can just kind of... I can just kind of take that out as long as I need to. And then, you know, you get to the verse. And the verse is, is very similar to this. 
Um, when, you, when you start with the verse, we're going to continue with that pattern. And again, here's where the, the first change comes in. Instead of going back to that D, we're going to a G. Okay? So, again, when it comes down, we're talking, again, patterns and sequences. This is really another one for me. So, again, the in, so I, I, I look at it this, this big piece of the song right here. It's going to be B minor, A, D, B minor, A, G. I, I, that's how I would look at this piece of it, okay? So I looked at it as one, one piece. And that particular structure right there, you're going to do four times. So it's going to be... All right? Four times around. So we'll do that four times around. On the fourth time, you're going to hold that G. Okay? Because I, I believe you hold it a little bit, and then it's going to go into the pre-chorus, basically. So it's... Maybe you don't really hold it, you go, but you go right, into, you hold it, you play it like you're doing for the four times. When you're done with that G, that four time around, you're going to go into, again, two sections that I, I look at sequences and structures. It's going to be A and G for the pre-chorus, okay? A, G. No. can I not sing I can't try to sing and play at the same time so listen to the recording again use the Jeffrey Gaines version that we've been talking about here A and G all right I believe that's four times as round as well okay and then from there you're gonna go into the chorus We're gonna hold the G here. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then it's gonna go in your eyes, which is gonna be the chorus basically. And the other structure or your sequence that I kind of keep in mind is the E to the D. And again, that D you're gonna play just like we did in the past. Okay, so. So again, the pre-chorus is going to be hold it. about four times with that as well. I got to listen to the, to the recording though. Um, I just kind of play along because I know the lyrics a little bit and I just, that that's my guide track basically. But when, you, when you're done with the chorus basically, it's going to be the E to the E to the D. Okay? When you come back to the E, uh, I guess after the first chorus basically and you're getting ready to go back into that second verse, you're going to just hold the E. I add my pinky to make it a suspended chord. Right, so there's your, your, your verse, pre-chorus. Right, and then we hold that G for another measure or two to the chorus. And then really that's how the song 
is going to end. You're going to just hold that E chord. All right, so um, if you're a Jeffrey Gaines fan, if you're a Peter Gabriel fan, uh, this might be an easier way to, to play that as well. Um, but just a great tune. Again, pretty simple chords. That B minor bar chord could be the, the tricky one, so you might have to just practice that. But give it a shot. Um, great tune. Everyone knows. I know every time that we've played this, it becomes a sing-along, which is really cool as well. So check it out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, I know I'll have a few other Jeffrey Gaines uh, songs coming at this point. Um, and I, I believe they'll all be from, I believe it's his first album from 91 or 92. Uh, but you've got to, you know, follow me because I, I don't know exactly when they're coming out. But I'll, if you subscribe and hit the bell and you're notified, you'll, you'll know exactly what, you know, what's coming down the road here. But thanks for checking this out and we'll see you next time.